Are you ready for August? Well, I am. And we're going to do one month, one plan, and we're going to do one shop. And we're going to do it together. And we're also going to do a little cooking at the end to finish out the day. So stay right there and we're going to have a great time. I'm so glad that you're here so that we can do all of this together. I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony Ivy and Time, where we work hard, we love God and family, and we know without a doubt that everything else is just gravy. It's in this kitchen where we are building strong families, and we're doing it around the table or across the counter. Now, you want to make sure, number one, that your kitchen is the place where everyone wants to be, whether it's for a meal, conversation are fun and so here at ebony ivy and time we share those kinds of things with you all the time and i'm hoping that if you like those kind of things please subscribe and tap that little bell icon just in case because you do not want to miss a thing now let's see what we can do this month and let's see if we can put together some absolutely delicious meals that are going to be easy, that are still going to take into consideration that it's summer, but yet and still we're going to be able to get it on the table and have it ready for our family when they come home in the evening. You know, planning for your month makes it so much easier and you know when you're coming in whether it's from work if you're working away from home or if it's just getting off the computer and you need to have dinner on the table when you have a plan your evening goes so much smoother everybody knows what's going to be for dinner you laid out whatever's necessary because you had a plan and you have it written down and that's key so we're going to take a look at what i've done how I put it together. I do this every month. You can go back and take a look. The only month we got thrown off was last month because we had a lot of things going on. But you know what? It's summer. So because it's summer, we can switch it up a bit. Now, let's also talk about the fact that August is special because our kiddos are going to be going back. Yeah, girl they're going to be going back to school and prayerfully they're going to be going back to in-person settings that's what we'd love to have everybody back to an in-person setting so we're going to need lunches we're going to need of course snacks you all of those things you have to put on the list because you got to make sure it's in the house now not to say you haven't had those things all summer but we want to be purposeful and intentional about what we're doing for our family i'm switching over to august so let's take a look at august and see what we can do i finished my grocery list and also finished out my menu ideal idea plans or meal idea plans so Let's take a look at that and hopefully I can do it without dropping everything. I place my groceries in my planner this time. And as you can see, I have everything written. I looked at what I had. I shopped at home first and then went to shopping my pantry and cabinets to make sure that I wasn't duplicating anything. Then I developed my meal ideas and you can see that I have placed in well over 30 meals that I will list for you down in the box below in our show more our description box below and you'll be able to find those as well now what I'm hoping is that you will share with us what your plan is what are you cooking this month what's going to be good do you have any special occasions that you may have to prepare for or if you have a large group 
How might you go about getting ready for that large group or company coming? So, those are the kind of things that I'm hoping that you will share with us down in the, de in the description box. So, I have placed my necessary items that I placed on my grocery list. I uh, ordered most of them through Curbside Kroger. And maybe one or two items I had to pick up through Amazon because I wasn't able to get them through Kroger. So, I am going to go pick those up and we'll get there. We'll get them picked up. I'll bring them back and share with you what we have purchased. The big guy got out of the car just to make sure that everything was uh, placed in the back of the car carefully. And we had a wonderful representative from Kroger who uh, was Vicki. And Vicki was very uh, sweet and uh, very gentle with what needed to be done. And she took care of the groceries very quickly. We had quite a load. So um, the big guy thought, well, I could probably help her, but she didn't need any, so we let her do her job. Now, as you can see from looking at the back of this trunk, it was quite a load. And I had over 80 some odd items, but you know, that's gonna cover a month of food and goodies that we need in the house. Now, let's take a look at what I actually purchased. I'm starting with some of the fruits and vegetables, and you can see I have two bags of onions. I have um, two bags of lemons because I go through a ton of lemons, and actually the big guy likes lemons as well. And we use lemons in just about every drink that we have. I also purchased uh, the Kroger corn chips, which you've seen those before, and you know I like those. There's our buttermilk that I use for baking, as well as some spices. I needed to refill our pepper, our pepperoncinos, our red pepper flakes, and needed some onion powder. Um, if you take a peek off to the left, you're gonna see I've got Triscuits and light rye crackers, as well as, okay, yes, the bad things, some golden Oreos. But, you know, I'm gonna use those in a dessert. Um, the big guy, has been a little finicky about crackers. So I actually have two boxes of those Triscuits. I purchased four bottles of V8 for him because he'll need at least one a week. We also picked up some Bragg uh, apple cider vinegar, which I love when I'm cooking. Um, we picked up some protein that we use in our uh, shakes in the morning, as well as some salmon to be able to uh, have on the shelf. We love Kroger Zingers. Those are the pickles. They are a little spicy and a little sweet. You'll see uh, I needed my uh, tomatoes and I like having some quick diced tomatoes. There's that other box of Triscuits. I knew it was somewhere, but anyway, I knew I had two, as well as two boxes of Crunchy Raisin Bran, which is my go-to fave lately for uh, breakfast. So um, I have plenty of that. And you know what? I've noticed that my raisin bran has been disappearing a little faster than usual. I have a feeling somebody's been getting in it. Now, we needed cottage cheese. We needed Philadelphia cream cheese as well as some sharp. Uh, lots of carrots. I've got red onions hiding in this bag, but they were beautiful. Let's see if I can get it out. It was huge. Oh, they were so pretty. There you go. Man, and it weighed a ton. I needed a bag of broccoli florets as well as behind that, I've got three bags of collard greens. Um, these baby bellas are gonna be placed, uh, gonna be cleaned and placed into the freezer so that um, I'll have mushrooms when I need them and I don't have to worry about them going bad. My collard greens, I'm gonna cook for a function, and um, so I needed some of those. I also like hazelnut and French vanilla creamer, and the Kroger brand is, to me, just as good as some of those other brands. My Purcell is my go-to uh, washing, li washing uh, clothes liquid, as well as we need Clorox, we need Cascade, and oh my goodness, you need a little Fabuloso when you're um, 
cleaning and preparing for guests coming into the house because it makes your house smell wonderful. Now I'm going to give you a quick sweep just to see what's here and uh, we have another section of groceries that need to be shown. Now I need to add uh, into the refrigerator the the spring onions, the carrots, the three heads of celery. You're thinking, oh my God, three heads of celery, yes. And three dozen eggs as well as bacon. All of this needs to go into the refrigerator very quickly. Tonight, we're putting together a one pot meal and it's a little chicken Italian. So. Let's do that. It's not going to take us long. We're going to be able to put it together. We're going to have enough for everybody and everyone, I promise you, will be full. The chopping and dicing, we're going to do very quickly. We've got garlic and we've got onions and those are two very important things when you're cooking Italian. I opened a family pack of chicken thighs and I'm just going to use three for tonight because it's just the two of us. So we're going to put them into a Ziploc bag and add the spices and we're going to let those marinate in the refrigerator until time for dinner. I've added garlic and pepper and uh, on one side and I'm going to flip those over and uh, add more uh, garlic and pepper. I got a little heavy handed with the pepper. so. I'm just going to put a little garlic in and uh, let's get to the stove. These chicken thighs need to be dusted with flour. So we're in the evening and it's just before dinner time. And we're going to try to cook these with just a teeny, 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 tiny bit of oil and let the skins actually produce their own oil. So let's see what we can do. Usually when you're frying uh, chicken, you need uh, at least an inch of oil in your pan. And we're just going to shake in just a teeny tiny bit, just enough to cover the bottom of the skillet. And uh, that's going to save us some calories. And it's also going to, uh, it's going to be a low and slow. And it's going to allow the chicken to release its own moisture and its own oils. I've added the two pats of butter into the pan because I want my chicken to brown. Very pretty. So that's why it's there. You are always welcome to the home of Ebony, Ivy, and Tyne. You are invited to join our family. Our family loves to decorate, to cook, and to chat. All those things make our home a warm and happy place. The kitchen is the hub, it's the heart of the home. It is in our kitchens where we love, nurture, encourage, and guide our families over delicious meals or just across the counter. Your kitchen should be the place where everyone wants to come, have a seat, and get a hug. So join me weekly right here in the kitchen of Ebony, Ivy, and Time and see what we're up to. These chicken thighs are absolutely beautiful. I flipped them over and you'll notice that I added in just a little more oil because we needed just a little bit. And you know, I wanted to um, keep the amount of oil down, but that just didn't work. So um, we're gonna continue to cook these. I also have on that back burner some white beans that I prepared earlier in the day. And uh, we're gonna be using those in our dish. Now you'll see that I have turned these thighs in all different directions to make sure that every side of the thigh was brown. And when I'm finished, I'm going to collect all of the chicken fat 
and take it out of the pan and only leave about two tablespoons in the pan to prepare the rest of the meal. So I'm just taking my time. Like I said, we're doing this low and slow because I do want to pull quite a bit of the chicken fat and chicken oils off the chicken and uh, yet and still get it nice and brown. So these chicken thighs are pretty thick. So like I said, I had to turn them on their sides and sometimes you have to do that. You know, don't just think that just uh, once you get that chicken into the pan that whatever way you lay it in that that's the way it stays because that is certainly not the case so we're going to uh, continue to let them finish and uh, Once they are finished We'll be ready to take them out of the pan let them drain Take the oil out and then we're going to add What we need to finish this chicken Italian into the bottom of this pan. Now that the oil is out, I am adding in the onions and garlic and uh, I'm letting the pan come back up to temperature. I don't want it too high, but I do want it to be able to cook pretty quickly. Now, so the onions are in, the garlic's in, are about to go in, and uh, I'm going to use most of that garlic that we chopped up. So. I'm starting with this amount. I'm going to see how that goes, how it smells, and if it smells pretty good, then I'll stay with that. This is Italian seasoning that we're putting in, and I'm going to do a sprinkle of that. I just do it until it looks like it's about the amount that it's supposed to be, and that's probably about a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning and uh, then give it a, a nice stir, let it get warm. You'll notice I'm using my wooden spoon to just kind of move it around. Now, I did not take out all of the chicken frying bits that are in the bottom. I took out some, but not all of them. And the reason for that is that it's flavor, and we want to keep that flavor. So I'm going to put in just a smidget of um, wine. That's about a half cup of wine that we're putting in. Guys, I just used the wine that I had open, and it just happened to be a white wine, but um, you could use a red wine. Just use whatever wine you like to drink, and it's going to um, cook off the alcohol, but it will leave the flavor, and that's what you want. So I'm adding in some fresh tomatoes that I had already chopped up that I didn't get to use in last night's salad. I'm going to also add in some tomatoes that I had in the freezer because, uh, you know, sometimes when tomatoes aren't used quite as fast, I'll cut those up, put them in the freezer, and then that way I can pop them out and put them into a dish. So I'm taking these out of my Ziploc bag and putting them into our skillet. So I'm going to turn that heat up and let this cook down. Remember, this is just one of those easy evenings where, you know, the big guy and I can chit chat and um, I can continue to cook. So as I'm doing that and all of that's coming to temperature, I am going to get things cleaned up. I'm, you see, I'm moving things around, trying to get some of the liquids onto these, these frozen tomatoes. So once I get them there, I'm going to add some of those beans into this mixture. I'm going to add some frozen mushrooms to this mixture and just let all of this simmer. 
and you notice I, I have the top off for right now because I do want some of those juices to cook down and of course the frozen tomatoes are going to add even more juice so we're going to let that simmer always always check and see if you might need more salt or pepper we're going to add some of those white beans into this mixture i didn't have cannelli so we're using navy beans and that's okay so we're just going to take the top off they're warm already and uh, just give a couple of good cups into this mixture i'm going to put the um, the chicken into the mixture and i'm doing that skin side up and we're going to uh, bring that up to a good bubble because it does need to simmer and I'll put a top on it but you know as I look at this I'm thinking hmm I need something green because you know Italian uh, when you think about the Italian flag you need the green so let's add a little bit of kale into this mixture oh, it's gonna be so good served over rice It is absolutely wonderful that we have been able to get our grocery plan together. We've been able to order it, pick it up. We've been able to uh, cook and prepare dinner and have it on the table ready for the family. But you know what's more important is the fact that we are together around the table. And that's what we really want to build, those strong families around the table. So I am thankful that you joined us today. I hope that you will come back weekly and that you will continue to be a part of our family. So, blessings to you and yours. Have a wonderful week.